everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we have another Every Plate Unboxing and Cooking. This week we have three recipes. The first one is Southwest Pork Flautas. The second one is Chicken Sausage and Roasted Tomato Linguine. And the last one is French Onion Chicken. Every Plate does not organize the ingredients into the each recipe, so it's all in the box. So let's see what the ingredients are this week. We have tomato paste, Southwest Spice Blend, sour cream, beef stock concentrate and chicken stock concentrate, Monterey Jack cheese, mozzarella cheese, Parmesan cheese, Yukon gold potatoes. We have some Roma tomatoes, a lime, garlic, yellow onions, carrots, another garlic, linguine, and flour tortillas. At the bottom of the box is an ice pack, and underneath the ice pack is the meat, and the meat this week is ground pork, chicken sausage, and we also have some chicken breast. At the very bottom is another ice pack to keep everything cold. Here are the ingredients for the chicken sausage and roasted tomato linguine. The first thing we did was cut the tomato and then drizzled it with olive oil, salt, and pepper, and we roasted that in the oven for about 20 minutes. Next, we boiled some water to cook the linguine. Next, we started the sauce with some olive oil, and then we added the onion, some salt and pepper, and then we cooked that. Next, we added a little more olive oil and then the sausage, and we cooked that until it was browned and cooked through. Next, we added the garlic, and then we cooked that for a few seconds, and then added the tomato paste. Next, we added some water, and then we reduced the heat and let that simmer for about five minutes. And after that simmered, we added the cream cheese. We also added half of the Parmesan cheese and some butter. We mixed that together and then we added the cooked linguine to the pan. Finally, we added the roasted tomatoes to the pan. Finally, I topped my bowl with the remaining Parmesan and here it is, what it lacks in beauty it makes up in taste. Mine definitely does not look as good as the photo challenge, but this was a delicious, easy meal that the whole family did enjoy. The next recipe is French onion chicken, and we started by roasting the potatoes with some olive oil, salt, and pepper. Meanwhile, we got the French onion part of the onions ready. We cooked the onions with some sugar, and then we stirred in the beef stock concentrate and some water, salt, and pepper, and we cooked that for a while until it was caramelized and jammy. And meanwhile, we cut the carrots and we roasted those as well. And then when the onions were finished, we took those out of the pan and then we cooked the chicken in the same pan for about six minutes each side. For the last minute, we topped it with the onions and the cheese and covered it until it was melted. And here is our final plate. This was just a delicious home cooked meal. And here is the photo challenge. Again, mine never looks as beautiful as this plate, but this one tasted delicious. I would definitely order this one again, and I'm even going to make the onions again this week. They were that delicious. For the flautas, I started by making the pico de gallo with the tomatoes, the onion, lime juice, and some salt and pepper. Meanwhile, I started making the filling by cooking the onion with some olive oil, and then I added the pork, some garlic, the southwest spice, a pinch of salt, the stock concentrate, a fourth cup water, and the flour. Next, I put the mixture on the tortillas and I rolled those up and put them in the oven to bake for about eight to 12 minutes. Mine were more like 12 minutes. I liked them a little extra crispy. So here they are straight out of the oven. And here is my finished plate. It looked beautiful, it tasted beautiful. I topped it with the pico de gallo and the sour cream. Here is the photo challenge. This was another home run. I really love every plate and I do get three meals basically for the same price or a little less than I was paying for other meal kits for two meals. So be sure to check them out. I will have a coupon code in the description below and let me know if you have any questions. As always, thank you so much for watching and please subscribe.